Hi there. In this video, I will show you how to install IntelliJ IDEA on your Mac. There are several tools that you can use to write code in Java. There is Sublime Text Editor, there is Atom Text Editor and several other editors. Now all these text editors basically make it easier to type Java code. But IntelliJ is more than just a text editor. It is called an Integrated Development Environment or IDE. It lets you write code in an easy way. It lets you test the code that you have written, find any errors in it and share code with other people. Let's go to jetbrains.com idea slash download. And notice that I have two versions available for OS X, there's Community and Ultimate. Now there are some differences between the two which is highlighted here. You can compare editions if you're interested in more details. I'll click download for the Community Edition. And I will save the file to my desktop. So there's my file downloaded on the desktop. I'll just double click it. And notice that it gives me a screen saying drag this to the applications folder. Let's just drag it. And the copy process has started. Once the copy is over, you can easily start it by going down to applications and from there selecting the IntelliJ icon that you see here. Just click on that. And it says it is an application downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? I will click open. And notice that it brings up a pop-up saying that do you want to import settings from the previous version. Now I'm installing this for the first time. So I will say I don't have a previous version. Click OK. Accept the terms of the conditions. Set the UI theme. And I will say skip all and set defaults. Let's just select that option for now. So now I am taken to the screen where it says create a new project. A project in IntelliJ is basically a collection of Java files that are neatly organized under different folders. Now even if you are just going to write a simple hello world application, you still need to create a project. Just click on that. And it takes you to the screen here where you are shown the different options that you can use in IntelliJ to create projects. Now in our case, we want a Java project. So I have Java selected on the left hand side and notice at the top, it says project SDK is none. Now we need to tell IntelliJ where is the Java compiler to do that. I will select this option called new and notice it says JDK here where I can indicate the location of JDK. Just click on that. And notice that it has pointed automatically to the JDK folder under Java directory under the library directory on your Mac. So I'm just going to click OK here and we can go down and hit next at this point. Now it is asking me to select a template. Now we will talk more about what templates are. For now, I will just go forward and click next. And now I have to enter the name of our project. I'm just going to call it hello world. And for the project location, I'll just click on this icon on the right side and select a separate folder on my desktop where I have this idea Java projects inside this hello world folder. Just click OK here and we can just click finish at this point. So notice that IntelliJ pops up with a tip. Let's close that. And there we have our project screen. Right now we are looking at our project hello world which is seen on the left hand side here. If you expand this hello world you will notice that we have a directory src which stands for source inside which we are supposed to put our java files. Now other than this src there are a couple of other directories and we'll talk about them as we go further. For now there is no java code anywhere in this project. Let's just right click on src and say new and we'll say java class here. Now we need to give a name to this class file and we'll call it hello world. Notice that I did not add any spaces here because that's the naming convention when naming classes in Java. I will click OK here. And I have my public class hello world created here. 
Now let me write some code inside that prints hello world. So there's my code that says hello world. If you don't understand what these things do, don't worry about it. We will discuss them in detail in the further videos. For now, all I want to show is how to run this project. So let's go at the top to this option here called run. Just hit run there and click this run button. It will ask you which project you want to run. Just click hello world here. And at the bottom, we have this pane that pops up and says hello world. So in this video, what I have covered is how to install IntelliJ on your Mac. But what I haven't covered is what this code does and what it means. And we'll be talking about this in the further videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.